With just days to go before default, President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy think they have a deal to raise the nation's debt ceiling. Here's a sample of what's in the deal. It raises the debt ceiling beyond the 2024 election, keeps funding largely fat, flat for domestic programs. It reduces funding for the IRS, offers slight funding increases for the military and veteran affairs, and adds new work requirements for federal programs. Two key items are out closing tax loopholes and cutting student debt relief. Of course, the debt ceiling deal hinges on getting enough bipartisan votes to push the agreement through the House and Senate. Fox's Chad Program reports on what happens next. The White House and Republicans reach a tentative deal on the debt ceiling, avoiding a potential default. The plan suspends the debt limit until January 2025, and it cuts $1.9 billion from the IRS this year. That's funding that Congress gave the agency as part of last year's Inflation Reduction Act. Under the deal, non-defense spending would remain relatively low next year. It climbs by only 1% in 2025. There is so much in this that's positive, and measure it to all the other debt ceilings. This is really a step in the right direction. McCarthy says House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries told him there's nothing in the bill for Democrats. But Jeffries' take was a bit different. It protects Social Security. It yeah. protects Medicare. It protects Medicaid. It protects veterans. It protects the American people. Well, I do expect uh, that there will be Democratic support once we have the ability to actually be fully briefed by the White House. McCarthy says the bill sits for 72 hours before he brings it up for a vote in the House, perhaps on Wednesday. On Capitol Hill, Chad Pergram, Fox 11 News.